right. Do you remember your name? Speak. Okay, can you give me your first and last name, please? My uh, first name is Denise. And the last name? Is Hallecky. It's actually Denise Shakiri Hallecky. And spell your last name? Is H-A-L-I-C-K-I. And it's D-E-N-I-C-E. Okay, that's good to know. It's yeah. a little bit different spelling. Yeah. And oh, you're one of the executive producers on this. Yes, I am. Great new movie coming out. Absolutely. Um, why did you decide to remake Gone in 60 Seconds? I mean, there, the classic uh, cult version has been so successful. In fact, it earned $40 million back in the 70s, which is a lot of money, it even is. back then, especially back then, I should say. So what was the decision? Well, we were actually making what was to be Gone in 60 Seconds, too, uh, exactly 10 years ago. And um, Toby, my husband, who did the original, um, we had over 400 cars and was to be the largest chase scene ever done. And he um, very sadly was killed on the set while we were doing the remake. So um, after that, it's been a long time coming, but of course to continue that legacy and memory, we wanted to do a remake. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, hopefully it will be just as accessible to a different generation this time. How many times have you seen the original? And do you ever get bored of seeing it? No, I don't get bored. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think I can count the amount of times. <laughs> it's been quite a few? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I bet. Um, how will the remake differ from the version that your husband starred in and directed? Well, obviously there's a, a lot of things that change in the movie industry, so they'll it'd probably take everything that he's done then and just intensify it that much, ten times more. Um, car, some of the action stuff will probably be more dramatic, and um, but it'll be same the same gar, guy car crash stuff. Yeah. yeah, a lot more special effects probably these days and age. Absolutely, it's dangerous. Yeah. yeah, but they're they're still in there racing those cars. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What's the fascination with racing cars, crashing cars? It's just, I think it's born in guys. It's just. It's just, they love it from when they're little. I have a little nephew that, um, when he was just a little boy, he loved cars. And I think there's just something about cars and guys, they just can't get away from it. So, um, the guys on the set, whether it's the stunt guys, Nicolas Cage, they love cars. They're just, Giovanni Ribisi, they're all into cars. What was uh, your- Jerry Bruckheimer, that's <laughs> the man, he, he is completely into cars, so. Uh, it's out of their passion and their love also that this is this is happening. What was your reaction when you heard that Nick Cage would play the main character? I couldn't have been more thrilled. Couldn't have been more thrilled. Um, it's an honor to have him actually doing this. Um, after 10 years to um, have him doing the remake at this point. Someone who loves cars like he does and has really put everything he has into this. He's very much a part of uh, the whole process and it's quite an honor to have him. And he, and he just, he's very kind and very sweet. And he, he actually sets a whole standard for the set. He does, and Jerry Bruckheimer and, and Dominic Senna, the director. Um, the cast and the crew, it's, it's quite a great team, mm -hmm. really. The best of the best you have on the set. Absolutely. Yeah. What do you think Toby would have thought of a remake of his cult classic? Thought? Well, if he was here, he'd be right in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be standing over by Dominic Senna saying, what do you think of this shot? Or he'd be uh, wanting to drive the cars with Nicolas Cage or talking to Jerry Bruckheimer about what he's doing. So he couldn't be more thrilled. And to have his legacy continued with truly the some of the best in the industry from every level um, is quite an honor. It's a great honor, actually. Yeah. Did he do a lot of his own stunts? <laughs> In the original? He did all his own stuff. <laughs> you could not keep him away. He wrote, produced, direct, starred in, and the famous um, jump in Eleanor, mm -hmm. just like we're going to have a famous jump in this one with Eleanor. Mm -hmm. he, he was right in that car, yeah, doing that stuff. Well, appropriately, today marks the 10-year anniversary of Toby's death. Um, how do you feel? How, what's going through your mind? Actually, there there's always a sadness when you, anytime you lose anyone, that's, that is a great tragedy, that, but that's part of what life is. And for me, that was really a life-changing moment for me when that happened. And obviously very sad, but here, 10 years later, exactly, 
on the day to have this awesome tribute to his legacy is like a dream come true. He really was the American dream, what he accomplished, the cult classic. Um, and then to have turn around and then 10 years later to have Jerry Bruckheimer, Nicolas Cage, Dominic Senna, and all these wonderful people involved is really a tribute. And actually I woke up this morning with a feeling of joy. It's like, wow, we did it. <laughs> we made it. So this is really a celebration. It's, it, it is really a celebration. I couldn't ask for more. It's truly second time around having the American dream come true. Yeah. That's great. A nice yeah. tribute. It is. Um, yes. You just have a cup. Okay, you are. Just getting a Okay, terrific. Can you tell me what happened ten years ago? You had just shortly gotten married, right? Right. We were together um, six years and took a, quite a long time building our life together. We were building a dream home. We were going to both star in what was to be gone to. And um, we ran off and got married just three months um, before he was killed. So I really was a bride and a widow in the same summer, which, which intensified it even more. And it was a very tragic accident um, on the set where one day someone's there and then the next day they're just not. I mean, one moment there you're talking to them and all of a sudden they're just gone. And it was com very tragic. But um, did did a, something uh, something fall? What happened was there was a water tower, 160 foot water tower, and it was there was a semi-truck that was going to hit the water tower and bring the water tower tumbling down. And just a few minutes before, um, I started to walk over to Toby and hand him a cigar, as a producers have to have their little cigars. And there was a 16-year-old boy right in front of him. And the 16-year-old boy, I just happened to hand it to the cigar to him instead and turned around to walk away, which probably saved my life because Toby probably would have had me with him. And I heard someone scream, Denise, run, the tower's falling. And you don't have time to look around. This is no movie, you just run. And the next thing I knew, when the tower had fallen, I heard someone scream, get an ambulance, get an ambulance. And they said, who is it, who is it? And I start running, and they said, it's the boss, it's the boss. And so I ran towards him, and I heard a voice scream out, keep her away. And I thought that was him. I said, that would be like Toby. He would be hurt but he's okay but he wants me safe and so they pulled me back and said he's okay he's okay but he wasn't okay um, what had happened was a cable connected to the tower snapped as it started to fall hit one of those power poles in New York and the power pole came down and as he was running hit him and so, so he was killed yeah. so tragic now the character of Memphis has a real passion for automobiles. He sure does. Is that a bit of Toby? <laughs> a lot of Toby. This movie, uh, the original was actually birthed out of who Toby was. And so even in this one, uh, a lot of it's birthed not just out of the original, but out of who Toby was and his passion for cars and his love for cars. And, and that comes completely through in what we're doing right now in Memphis's character. Mm. Yes. Great. Congratulations, yeah. Denise. It's Thank nice you. on the 10 year anniversary. It is. A tribute. It is there is. anything else you'd like to add? Just that it, it's going to be very exciting. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. Thank you so yeah. much. Okay, Pleasure Thank meeting you. you. Thank you so much. Thanks. I'll just get that mic off okay. real quick.